Hello everybody out there with type 1 diabetes. I am going to be talking today about how to avoid insulin stacking. That is when you're giving so much insulin because you're tired of being high, but then of course you give too much and then you go low. How do you avoid doing that? That is what I'm going to talk about today. So welcome. Maybe you're just finding me for the first time. If so, welcome. Or perhaps you've been following me since the end of March. This is my 95th Facebook Live that I've done to help inspire all of us with type 1 diabetes out there with a ray of inspiration and education and positivity because I started uh, back in end of March. That's when this whole lockdown world began. And I wanted to be a source of light and inspiration and education to all of us living with type 1. Um, I've been working virtually with patients for 10 years or so. Um, I have had type 1 since 1980. Here's my decks today, doing darn good. And that is with having fruit for breakfast. I had blueberries and some papaya in my smoothie this morning. And I just ate some yams, but literally like minutes ago. So that hasn't gone up yet. But this is the kind of numbers that we deserve to get. And this is my passion to help you figure out how to get this. Uh, what I have found is that most of us just haven't been well educated. We're, you know, we're expected to get a great A1C and yet we haven't been given the whole toolbox of how to do it, right? So that is why I have a virtual practice and why I've created courses for you and uh, why I'm coming to you live on Facebook here. So I want to answer the question, how do we avoid insulin stacking? So. Um, and if you have any questions or comments and you're watching this live, just uh, let me know. Say hi. Let me know you're there. Um, I, I'm here. I'm live. I always come around 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern, Monday through Friday. So I know some of you are on the ball with catching those. But, of course, you can always watch the recording at any time. There's 95 other Facebook Lives if you scroll down on my Facebook page. Um, so today's comment um, or question that I'm going to answer is, how do we know if we should correct a high, right? Okay, so here's my, here's my tip for you. First of all, the only thing that causes a low is too much insulin, okay? Exercise alone doesn't cause a low. Because if you exercise and didn't have any insulin in your body, you wouldn't go low. However, don't do that. <laughs> we always need insulin, right? If you and I as type ones didn't take insulin, then we could go into DKA, which would could be potentially lethal. So I'm not saying don't take your insulin, but um, in my Master Your Blood Sugar with Exercise course, I explain how we can dose our insulin properly and thus avoid going low with exercise. Because um, of course, exercise increases our chance of going low, but it's all about how much insulin you have in your body that determines the intensity of your low, okay? So how do we correct a high and not go low? How do we know how much insulin to give and not too much, right? Well, first of all, the reason why you're high after you eat is only, well, mostly two reasons. One, you just didn't give yourself enough insulin for that meal. Or two, you, maybe you did give enough, but you didn't give it early enough, right? And you'll know because if you go high and then come down and don't do anything, then you know you could have just taken the dose earlier and avoided that high. Because since you came down naturally after the high without correcting, then we know that you had enough insulin. But if you go high and then stay high, then you didn't give it early enough and or you just didn't give yourself enough insulin. Okay, so now you're high after the meal. And you're like, well, did I dose enough and I just have to be patient to make this insulin work faster? Or do I need more? So this is my favorite little tip. And Paul says, howdy, howdy, Paul. And Thelma says, I appreciate this topic. Great. I'm, well, Thelma, I'm, I'm so glad that um, you become a new follower and an Academy member. Congratulations. Um, so this is what I do. I poke my finger. I don't use my DEX because DEX is sometimes a little bit slow. Um, so I poke my finger to get a real-time number of what am I really right now. So let's say I'm, you know, for me, 150 or 160 is high. Um, but you know, one, 200 or whatever you are, or if you're millimole, you're, you're 10 or higher, um, or nine or higher, right? So you're thinking, okay, now I have my real time number. Now, 
go be active for five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Go do some house cleaning. Go on a brisk walk outside. Turn on some music and dance around. Jump on a little mini trampoline. Go up and down some stairs. Do some squats. Do some sit-ups. Do whatever you want, but just move your body. Don't just sit on the couch. Move your body. Five, 10 minutes, all right? Now, 20 minutes later, poke your finger. Get that real-time reading. In my personal opinion, if within a 20-minute separation of time between poke number one and poke number two, with all that activity that you did in between those two points, you should see a significant drop in your number if you have enough insulin on board. So this takes care of two things. One, it makes you feel confident that, oh, yeah, I do have enough insulin on board. I just need to get active to kick it into gear faster. And number two, the other benefit is, obviously, you got your high down faster. When you have insulin on board, you can always use movement to bring your highs down faster. Now, if you had that two 20-minute you know, points and you barely went down at all, in that case, I would think I probably need more insulin. So that is my tip on how not to overcorrect, right? Move your body 20 minutes, test apart, see if you get some downward momentum. If you get downward momentum, then you kind of feel confident that you've got some insulin on board that just had needed to be kicked into gear. Um, or if you didn't go down, then you can more confidently correct. Now, of course, Correcting highs is not as simple as this. There's more to it, right? Because what if the food is still digesting? What if you go down and then you go up later? That can happen. But if you fully understand how different meals digest, some digest over several hours, which means you need insulin over several hours. Um, some digest slowly. Some digest quickly. You know, how much protein are you eating? How much fat are you eating? What kind of carbs are you eating? All these things you can learn about if you'd like in my mealtime dosing course. Uh, why carb counting is not enough. So if you want help, I'm here to help. Um, I love helping type 1s. You deserve to have a great A1C, which is a 6.5 or below. Um, I think that sometimes the diabetes world, there's a little bit of too much lax in thinking that a 7 or above is all right. And every time we're high, we do damage to our body, right? So I don't want you to be damaging your body with high blood sugars. Diabetes doesn't damage us. High blood sugars do. Okay, so that's something that's really important. So I'm here to help. I've got great free courses, free videos. Um, I do these Facebook Lives. I don't know how much longer I'm going to do them. I'm coming up with a new membership idea. And because uh, I love community too. Like all my patients, we have two group calls a month. Incredible group of people. Positive, motivated, doing well. And when we live with a chronic condition, it's very helpful to have a community that you feel inspired by. So... I'm glad you found me. Please share this video um, or my website with anybody else you know with type 1. And you can check out my website. Put your email in there. I have a free handout. I have a free video. I've got, you know, newsletter sign up. So you can stay connected to my future offerings. All right? So my vision is to help as many type 1s as I can. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're inspired by this. Check it out. See if it helps you. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And I'll be back on Monday. Bye for now.